Hi, Andy. Hope you're on money, Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to the GG Over Easy Podcast, episode 164. 69. In oh. today's episode, or sorry, we we have to break it to Blue that actually he's not going to make 169. Unfortunately, we're all booked. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have Red Westlow on 169. There. <laughs> or no, Red East. What was that? Um, Red East High. Didn't you have the like the uh, what was it? The something bone, red bone, blue bone. Yeah, and then yeah. I forget what that was. But anyway, uh, we talked about Rob's newfound obsession because we like League. Um, I tried to we escape from it. Tarkov. Totally I over my it. head. It was crazy. Um, I'm about to some now. We talked about some movies. We talked about uh, other things and random topics in between here and there and other things. And we got to hurry to get this in so that your ears can hear this in time. <gasps> Enjoy the Bye. Episode. Enjoy oh, it. Hello. Hello. Three, two, one happy new years from our friends over at manscape the ball has officially dropped but that doesn't mean you have to drop the ball on your balls in 2023 whether you had a new year's kiss or not the leaders in below the waist grooming have covered you for much needed resolution of bringing sexy back Join the 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code GG for 20% off plus free shipping. Let us have a toast for the new year and the new you. And the new you with no pubes. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code GG at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com and use code GG. Time to feel sexy and free this 2023 with Manscaped. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you want to live a more empowered life, a therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash GG today to get 10% off your first month. That's better help. H E L P dot com slash GG. This holiday season, the best deal in wireless can only be found at Mint Mobile. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three month plan, you'll get another three months for free. As it's the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order and activate from your home with eSIM while saving tons on phone plans starting at just $15 a month for a limited time buy any three month Mint Mobile plan and get three months for free by going to mintmobile.com slash GG. That's mintmobile.com slash GG. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash GG. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the GG Over Easy podcast, episode 164. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about things. The end. We have a guest. His name is Blue Westlow. Welcome to the welcome, podcast, welcome. Mr. Blue Westlow. Hey guys, I'm so happy to be here. I've been watching your podcast for approximately uh, 60 seconds, and I have to oh, say, you watch the TLDR moder- versions. I'm moderately <laughs> impressed. Thank I'm you. Sorry, we uh, we couldn't get you on the 169 episode, but that one's already booked out. Yeah, that one's booked out. And heavily requested. Yeah, uh, you know, hey. Uh, it, it's fine. I I I'm used to being second fiddle, third fiddle, fourth fiddle, and you know what? You can't always get that one sixty ninth fiddle. The the highly coveted fiddle for sure. Um, speaking of highly coveted, Ooh, what's highly coveted? My... I don't know. I had the segue. I didn't know where it was going. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> speaking of coveted. Um, I okay. I'm not going to say I think I found a new love for gaming because I think this is a, a, a uh, weird type of thing. Say it. Not that like say I don't it. I don't love League. Okay. Yeah. I you like do. Le- yeah, I you like do. League in the sense like I want to try and get better at it. I haven't played a game where it's like other yeah, than but- CS. Except with CS, it was like I'm not getting better at this. <laughs> like this is like I plateaued. Like this is where yeah, but see, um, that's what I'm saying. Like what was that's just it. You don't normally get that drive. That's also how I know usually if I like a game. Well, that's how I knew I liked League. I sucked, and I was like, hold up. I actually want to get better. There are a lot of games I suck at, and I'm just like, screw this. Yeah, I just, I just, I'm going to suck at this forever, I guess. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, well, it just is what it is. But, I mean, it still feels like I'm going to suck forever in this game. That's the neat part. Uh, you will. <laughs> but uh, what's been cool is I have saved my highlights and my lowlights. And I'm going to think about, like, Making like maybe a monthly series on my um, month of league and maybe like um, break down like game. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing some like maybe some like in depth growth content in league for you know somebody who starts off as an iron and you see them work their way up <laughs> potentially through the year. And we'll see. Wow, how that he's works just out. like me for real. Yeah, you but except I'm gonna go in. into iron 
Oh, I haven't played ranked yet. I just got to 30. And I haven't played a ranked game yet because, one, I'm scared. I'm terrified, okay? <laughs> I have found out um, what Flame Horizon is. <laughs> um, now, for those who don't know what Flame Horizon is, uh, it's something that I I give up probably every <laughs> once every five. When I'm queuing with like, oh, hey, Chad, does anybody want to queue? And boom, 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 boom. It's like Destiny 1 when I say that. I'm like, hey, does anybody want to queue? And it fills up in like <laughs> two seconds. Yeah. And, like, Lee just wants you to know that it's on in the background. So it is the loudest, like, game ever. I but have I it feel like, literally, like, 2%. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it is so loud. Um, so people will join in and have these crazy looking, almost looks like what you wear in, like, a Renaissance ball or whatever. Like, the little <laughs> feather mask. mask. It's like, yeah, yeah it's like Masquerade. that off of the thing. So I'm like, dude, these guys are gamers. So I'll go against... Oh, so last night I was like, wa- I was watching the Nuggets game. I'm watching the Nuggets game. Just watching the Nuggets game. And Nuggets go up by like 40. I'm like, all right. I'm not watching this anymore. I'll have it on in the background. And I'll solo queue some League off stream. Uh, while, okay. Yeah. And then I, I get on. And then I was like, ah, actually, I'll just stack five. So let me just see who wants to play. Uh, so people join in. And it's like. We had like one diamond player, like one gold player, and like I think the rest are like gold, silver, like kind of spread out. So I pick, I think I pick Aatrox. So I pick a yeah, pick Aatrox. No, I was, top. I was, I'm hoping to gas you up. I went to your your op.gg. Your what is that? It shows you. It shows me all your stuff. Uh, so I was gonna go to your recent wins and be like uh, like mm. you're killing it because like you beat and then i would i would show so for instance uh, i see you want to choke your most recent game you went on choga two two and eight huge uh the enemy team was a level 33 so like right with you right oh my god dude this is like a carfax report <laughs> the, what this poor fella who is he um the fiddlesticks is actually iron uh, I don't think I've ever actually seen somebody iron. Um, that guy was bronze four. This guy what? is gold. Uh, he was the <sighs> Asa- uh, or not, Aphelios. And then the support was bronze three. Bro, so the... if you were soloing, that means your your MMR currently is like mid-bronze. Hell yeah. Because I'm going to say this. Okay. I don't, think, I don't think you're going to get placed iron. You don't. Iron to me is like a purgatory <laughs> that like I know there's exists, a- but I've never seen. You've never seen an iron game ever. Like, yeah, like I think you gotta be like down. Bro, I'm bad. giving up Flame Horizons like every other game. Like if you look at that uh, Aatrox Fiora game, I got rolled. Okay, I don't know if you're a counterpoint. Okay, there. Oh no, yeah, that Fiora's gold four. Yeah, yeah. So that's so what I'm that, saying. He so destroyed me. But you'll, What's but it like when I go against a diamond player or somebody who's like masters or something? Oh, no, but that is just it. You shouldn't be. There's no, literally. I'm well. I'm just gonna say. There's literally no way you can randomly just queue when you five stack. It like it broadens the MMR. But like, if you five stack with me, we're never gonna get a diamond. Like it doesn't just like randomly. Like it still puts you in a pretty tight skill bracket. So, you don't have to worry about that, but yeah, I've been so, there. And you yeah, know so if dying. you can see this Aatrox game, I have 945 damage. I quit. I just sat there, and I just I took an AFK penalty. <laughs> I literally sat there while my team, who are my friends and you know subs <laughs> and stuff, like, I literally just rage quit and sat there till the game ended. I didn't care anymore. I was like, it sucks so bad sometimes. Like, I have had some of the greatest, like... I've been playing the game for probably like three weeks now, maybe a month. Um, and I've had some of highlights like um, that Baron Steel. Baron Steel with Zareth. Zareth. Yeah, that was Paul. That was nuts. And I was playing a, like, if you go to that support Zareth game, whew, I was going uh, right there. It's two days ago. Uh, yeah. It's uh, two days ago um, where I'm support Zareth, I believe. Like, uh, not the Yasuo game. You saw the Yasuo mid game, and you were. 
and you were saying that was pretty rough to watch. It, yeah, it you you it was it was a game that, ya, that was Yasuo game. was only level twenty seven too. I could tell. Yeah. Well, the funny thing was he kept wind walling you, and it was just irrelevant. But he kept wind walling your Q, even though it doesn't block it, and you hit him through it every single time. But he still wind walled it every single time. He's like, maybe That's this like time. My- Maybe this time. <laughs> My chat was like, hey, just cue him through his wind wall. I was like, I don't know what that means, but for sure. <laughs> sure. Um, long story short, his wind wall blocks projectiles. But you're so I had no idea blocked. about this OPGG website. Well, there's this lots. Is... There's like so, there's also like summoner GG or something, and there's like Mobify. There's there's lots of them. Um but you use this to look up your stats or other people's stats or um It'll give you also, there's somewhere where it'll show you like ranked brackets. That's how I know like gold, it's like gold two or something's top like 20% of players just because like when I say bronze and silver is like 65% of players, I mean bronze and silver is like 65% of players. So you're right there, you know, you're you're already in there. I was very worried that you would think I was an iron player and you were going to like really let me off kind of softly there. But I, I don't know what iron looks like. Like I, I just you didn't think, place iron. No, like I'm, that's what I'm talking. I mean, I've never placed bronze, and so I just I just Do you, don't know what it takes to hit iron. Like, is that solo Q rank, by the way, or is that like yeah. okay? Do you only solo Q rank, or do you normally like Q uh, well, ranked with someone? Eh. Sometimes one, sometimes it's also how I'm feeling. A lot of the times it's solo. Um, sometimes, uh, depending on like if Kevin's on, I'll duo with like Kevin. But a lot of the times it's solo, and you might get to a point uh, where there's a thing in in league called ranked uh, anxiety, where like you just you you're scared to queue. I I have, I have it now. <laughs> I'm not. Just, I just. just You'll get through it eventually. Even I still get nervous. So I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to play a ring game. Well, I feel like a jungler, like, you should be nervous because I feel like I just if mute the game's all, going wrong, you're like, there. you are yep. the first person to get yelled at, probably. That's my best advice. Enter the game in chat slash mute all. Perfect. Do there you use space or just mute all? No space. Uh, I think it's no space, but I don't know one or the other. And then it, it okay. mutes all. All your teammates, all the enemy uh, members. You're telling me nothing good come good comes from game chat. No, <laughs> that's the other <laughs> thing. Never... Is like some people are like, but what if my team's gonna? Let me tell you, ninety eight percent of chat you're ever gonna see is you were fine never seeing it before. I guarantee you, they're not gonna tell you anything of importance. Even like, hey, yo, behind you, like, watch out. No, even if they have something to say, they'll ping it. Just pay attention to pings. That's it. I feel like that's where I really lose the game is I expect people to kind of like walk me with a leash and be like, hey, this is what we're going to go do. I'd say, all right, yeah, just tell me what to do. Because you were saying my biggest issue, you would say in my games that you have watched, you would say my biggest issue is awareness. Mm. Now, when you say awareness, are you saying like, it just in general of everything because I'm trying to get better. So no, I have been like, well, and I know, I'm, I know. I've been, I, I place the wards, but then like Big. sometimes I'll push up to the tor- turret and then I'm like, I'm just, I'm like, oh, I'm fucking this turret <laughs> up. And then I go, oh, wait a second, that's a nocturne right behind me. I had a ward up. I should have saw that coming. <laughs> yeah. I was going to so, say, wards are great, but they also don't do anything if you don't look actually at the map. Look, yeah. Yeah. Now, I will say that I think is part of the trickiest thing about League is. Staying aware, because even people in my rank, um, you would think they're blind or have like the mini map covered, just because they're playing on hard mode. Um, yeah, I would say awareness. You're 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 tunneled, uh, which is easy to do, but the tough part is like this isn't like micro mechanics or anything either. It's literally just having the presence of mind that while you're doing something like CSing or trading in lane. You're watching the map, paying attention to pings, looking where people are, because that's when vision's important, because vision's cool, and you can win games off vision. 
but if you have the vision and you don't use it, it doesn't help you at all. So vision's great. The mini map's a great tool because also that's how you know I can sometimes be like, Rob, you're good, keep pushing. Because I can look on the mini map and, well, I see two in the mid lane. We have a ward and their jungler's bottom. And I'm fighting another dude. So there's like the support that's not in vision in your top lane. So like that's also how you can be like, okay, well, I know. I'm, I'm good to push. Because yeah, I'm good to I push know. for X amount of time. And then suddenly you look mid lane and then the two disappear in the fog war going up. You're like, okay, I think they're coming. You back off. Okay. That kind of stuff. As well Blue. as like the pings and because uh, like that Xerath game mid, I was like, I was like telling you, there was like two fights yeah. literally just right outside of your view on your mini map. You're sitting there missing CS, like, ah, God, I can't forget, ah. And then, and then your Elise and Yasu are, they're like fighting for their lives. Um, Maybe just though, like just ping, shouldn't they be like, like do the exclamation mark one? Like, hey, it's going down right here. Um, yeah, yeah, they did. Oh, they I did? did yeah, they did. Oh, okay. oh, oh, and then I was telling you too, uh, the other thing too is just like, you tried to rotate top, which was Pog, to help the Riven. Yeah. Um, but Who's then, getting owned, by the way. Yeah, but then on the way, you were just like looking at an empty like Fog of War forest as you're just walking. When you can be looking at the fight and seeing what's going down, how she doing. Info. Yeah, what are they doing? What a bit like you could see, oh, he just flashed. Okay, well, if I'm going to go after him, he doesn't have flash. Or oh, he used his ultimate. Or wow, he's one health, but he got away. Maybe I can kill him. That kind of stuff. Blue, play League with us. Or uh, with me. Man. Come on. that You're the Man. next one. They're they're yeah. reworking a soul. They just revealed the new video. How about what? they re how about they rework the controls? Pardon your regularly scheduled podcast listening for this short ad break. Three, two, one. Happy New Year's from our friends over at Manscaped. The ball has officially dropped, but that doesn't mean you have to drop the ball on your balls in 2023. Whether you had a New Year's kiss or not, the leaders in Below the Waist Grooming have covered you for much needed resolution of bringing sexy back. Join the 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code GG for 20% off plus free shipping. Let us have a toast for the new year and the new you. And the new you with no pubes. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code GG at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping at Manscaped. I'm telling you, 2023, I'm keeping the beast tamed, baby. All thanks to the Performance Package 4.0. You'll find in there the Signature Lawnmower 4.0, the advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate parts. It also comes equipped with a 4K LED spotlight that will shine light to the promised land 2023 looks to be. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code GG at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with manscaped.com and using code GG. Time to feel free and sexy this 2023 with Manscaped. You can just use controller. Just use controller. Nah. I don't even know. I may have, there to, has have controller to be some support. Sort of... but it can't be that bad. You're at a clear I disadvantage. Can't... I just can't do it. I just can't. It just isn't. No. It's just. Okay. No. <laughs> I try. Yeah. I, I, I can... I, I... No. No. I've been. Ha I, I just have this new wind. Because then Robbie was. Robbie was online. Uh, Kranz. Right? That's Robbie, right? Yeah, I think he said, then, um, forgive me, I'm about uh, to relapse. So Oh, he did? Yeah. Cause he's about he's playing again a ton or Yeah, of course he said the same thing too. I think <gasps> us playing again and me making the videos again kind of also got them, they're like, Oh god, I'm coming and plus the I wow hope you guys do those um I want you guys to do what oh, are those tournaments matches. called? That oh. those are sick. That's what I wanna like try and do. But I'll get rolled. But we I got mean, they rolled. Seem, so. They seem fun. Like uh, they, they are, but then also you're just like, man. When do clash matches like come up? Like, is it every like one? It's it, through the game, right? Yeah, it's like seasonal. It's I, like game I, battles, essentially. Yeah, right. And I think in preseason, I don't know if it's even a thing. Um, I don't know, I'll have to ask. It'd be like work your way through the ladder and see if you go to worlds or something <laughs> type of thing. It's not how that works, but uh, yeah, we're working our way through the gold ladder. Uh, so we got a ways to go. Um, but see, just like with blue, that's why I never bothered with you guys either. Ten years of playing league, and I was never like, "Come on, dude!" I just knew, like, I can't convince them either. They're gonna play or they're not, and I gave up more than like seven years ago. So that's when you guys are like, "Let's play league." I'm like, "Okay, the day has come." 
Sure. Well, what's cool is like a lot of people like in Salt Nation are getting super into it. Like a lot of people in like my chat have been like, I'm back in the league, which I would like to preface. Uh, your mental health is very important, <laughs> and I do not want you to reinstall a league. If you have broken those chains, continue to break those chains and don't come back. Um, um, well, I will say I'm currently working on uh, editing. I already recorded and stuff. My next league video is actually a beginner's guide to league because I think that's really sick. I think that's a good idea. A lot of people are like, this seems cool. I don't know what's going on. Could you explain to us? Well, so and I think that's going to, I'm going over also like soup, like super basics. I'm not going deep. Like not yeah, even like, like, this is when you freeze the lane type of thing. Like not even like, this is how you, you fight another champion. It's straight up like, yo, this is how a MOBA works. This is how leagues works. And this yeah. is how all the macro objective stuff happens. So specifically, too, if they're watching like an LCS game, maybe they want to watch like a pro game, they can understand all the nuances of like why killing an inhibitor is big or why killing three inhibitors is big or it's like why can't yeah. they just go to the tier three turret? Well, you have to kill the tier one and then the tier two. I, um, I like your new format in your videos, by the way, when you take the mic and you kind of like explain. Okay. I like that. Appreciate I really that. do. Very in like it's almost like very informative. You like little i think it's just very simplistic and very i don't know like it's funny but not like too try hard if you know what i mean uh, i really like it so it takes a lot to set up every time so it's good I to know that it's I, worth I, it no yeah i like it and i'm sure other people do have you heard about like about that kind of format people like it. well speaking of which i posted a predecessor video today where i that's where uh, i was watching that oh yeah, yeah that's where you were like doing it and a lot of comments on that, yeah, people are saying like they enjoy that little edit. Yeah, so I, I like it a lot, and I'm assuming you did that for the league video in some sorts of ways, mm -hmm. maybe. Well, only the because I'd only gotten it in time for the Yumi one, um, mm -hmm. and I only did it sparingly. Uh, I'm thinking about because I also don't want to overdo it, so it's just a matter of um, like what parts in a video or if it calls for it or. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, I think that'll do like really well because I think not only will your audience enjoy it, but I think people who don't even know Mr. Fruit and will just want to get into League will find that and be like, oh, this is a very nice uh, basic kind of introduction to League, but also kind of funny satire uh, along that goes with it, I'm sure. I tried. It's all funny satire until I explain dragons. And it's like five minutes of a text wall and I'm like, I, there's nothing, that, there's not a joke here. It's just like... Okay, okay, so listen, there's like seven different dragons, okay? But the first one, random. The second one, random, different than the first one. Now, the third one is also random, but it's pulled from the ones that you haven't got first or second, and then all the rest are going to be dragons until somebody gets a fourth. When you get a fourth, then it's all elder. But if they get that fourth, then that's actually a soul. But the soul is determined by all the other things, and then, that, and then it just keeps going. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I didn't ever think about that. Like the yeah, dragons. I was like riding dragons, and I was like, wait, this is actually what this was. Chemtech, what the fudge. mountain, fire. Water, ocean, wind, or did I already say Cloud. that? Cloud, elder. I can't think of the last one. Hextech. Oh, hextech. This one with like the warp gapes. Um, I but in all seriousness, I, I have been having a ton of fun with it. It's awesome stream content. I mean, people seem to be really liking just kind of lurking and hanging out and watching the league. I didn't know that a lot, but apparently a lot of people play League. Uh, <laughs> it turns so, out it's kind of popular, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's a popular. Um, a bit. But it it's really sick. Um, I've been really enjoying it. I mean, like yesterday, I played. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games of League yesterday. Dang, my boy out there. Well, I think I woke up at like. 7 a.m. or something like that yesterday and then i played like four hours off stream and then i sat there going what the fuck am i doing <laughs> so and then i like started streaming and then i, I finished the rest of those games my uh, man uh, uh i'm trying to see how many games you played total but i can't see um i see but, here my last 20 games i've won 14 lost six which is pretty tight there you go uh -huh. my my Cho'Goth uh, win record isn't so great. Um, Mundo's well, pretty pretty but good I, though. I did like your your idea though that I'll like spectate slash coach your first rank game. 
Yeah, if you want to do that and we make a fun video out of it and you and we can just like meme it up and have a good time, I think it'll be sick. It, it'll definitely be a little more fun because the problem too is like that's the difference. If you were jungling, I could hit you with a whole bunch of nuance and macro plays and be like, all right, hey, are you thinking about this right now? Maybe you should. But top lane, I'm going to be like, I can tell you some like broad Basic stuff. stuff. Yeah, that applies for every lane, but I, I'm not like a top lane aficionado. But uh, some people may be wondering what heroes I play. Uh, so um, my champion pool um, is currently at the moment uh, set 57% win, win, uh, win rating, 24 and 18, which isn't bad. Um, well, I guess I could actually get how many games I have here. Cho'Gath, eight wins, 13 losses. You see me on your team as Cho'Gath, run. <laughs> it happens. Well, I just like forget. Okay, well, okay. Oh, this is what happened yesterday too. Oh my god, z z z z z. Um, so I'm playing top lane, and like the game starts, okay, and it's like minions have spawn. So I'm like, I'm like halfway in, and like I'm not really halfway paying attention. Um, so I'm like running up to the lane and just like sitting there, and like I'm like looking at Twitter and so, and all of a sudden I hear, shoom, shoom, and it's like fucking Trendemir on my ass. He's <laughs> he's just camping the the front bush and dives at me and I die. And I was like, I'm like all right, well, so off to a great. You're um especially as you get higher, you will get flamed for AFK because actually what you're supposed to do uh if you're not leashing top lane, you typically sit um if you're red side, you sit pretty much kind of like in the bush right outside of red and right behind Baron. Or if you're on blue side, you can sit like in river like the, by the river. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea is you're you're the only one out there, so you're watching for invades, um, or just like that. Like if you see their jungler sneak in and they're on the opposite side, you can let them know like, hey, he's stealing your blue buff or stuff like that. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But instead, I'm, I'm walking guilty up of it to too. Bush. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's it's not an important game. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Whatever. Um, this will be your favorite one. Would you like to guess my Yumi record? I don't 69 and zero because you win all of them. If it is, uh, if it's 69%, you got a mainer. I, I'll say it. I'm 0 and 4. I've only lost when I play Yumi. <laughs> she's, a, she's easily my worst champion. Well, I mean, I have a lot of 0% uh, win rates with uh, Fiora, Gangplank, Urgot, Tom Kench, and Volibear. Yeah, but those are all one game. Yeah, but they're all one game. Uh, so. Ones with multiple games are Set, Cho'Goth, Dr. Mundo, Aatrox, and Yorwick. And you got, oh, well, four games on Xerath as well. Yeah, but like that's like if somehow mid or support gets picked. And uh, the one W is on support. So 0-3 uh, <laughs> on mid lane. <laughs> so the point is League is tied. Yeah. All in all, like if you've ever really thought about getting League, I think now is the time. Because one, we're going to start making some fun little content on it, which I think is always really cool. I'm streaming it a ton. Um, I just want to get to the point where it's like, yo, we're going to queue some like League tonight like with the boys. Like that, that, That's the goal. Like The goal is to just be like, yo, Fluffy Bear, you want a queue? Or Fozzie Bear, whatever it is. <laughs> yo, Fozzie Bear, you want a queue? Yo, feed me, Crayons. Come on, let's, let's queue it up. He's like mad. But uh, like doesn't but Corey plays top though, right? Um no or well who's your top laner? Corey can play top Corey's top or mid. Corey's like me though, he can do anything. Like who's your clash team? Like what were the positions for your clash team? Uh Robbie was mid. Feed me crowns. Um Kevin's friend Adam. Um The one trick, right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember his name. His like league name. Frank. Can't remember. Uh, but he's top lane. Uh, Kevin was Zadie carrying Corey with support. I was jungle. Um, Kevin and Corey might have swapped. I don't remember. I think Corey might have been any carrying Kevin support. There's that one play that I commentate where Corey just does something absolutely oh, insane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Corey was support. Yeah, because that was on Thresh. And he popped off. It was a sick play. Yeah, that was sick. That was my boy. I don't know what he did still to this day, <laughs> but it was very sick. It was sick. I still, I, but now that I'm in, in League a little bit, uh, I went back and watched the Zed Faker thing. Still don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also tough, too, because you also need to know Zed. Um, 
But once you slow it down, I'm sure there's videos. Literally, you could probably search breaking that specific play down. Insane. Um, needless to say, uh, yeah, my career would have been over if I had one and are I you, was the other. Are you going to do a, a ranked video? Like, I think like a, a really fun video would be like the gold experience in League of Legends or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Um, it's just I want to keep making content and make sure the focus is fun. Yeah. So I'd have to be going in and maybe I sure. maybe I coach you. Maybe I coach you in a <laughs> yeah. game. Yeah. That'll go well. Like that. Like I have to just do what you tell me to. Like go take that. Like, ah, okay. Yo, go gank that Kindred. <laughs> First off, if Kindred's in lane, it's a free one. Oh, that Why? Is she some scary AD carry. Yeah, she's a jungler. She can oh. AD carry, but um Anywho, while you were learning League, yeah. yesterday I was learning Escape from Tarkov. You learned a little bit too. Yeah. Okay, can I say my gripes about Tarkov before you go on to it? Please. I think it's fun. I just don't think I really love the hardcore genre of it, you know? Um, For a maybe lot of people, if I like appeal. Yeah, like maybe if I sunk, like... I. Hey, guys, I, I died. Uh, like it's just like i just and then like but like i get the idea of it and how like fun and exciting it can be to be like to the point where it's like oh my god i do have all this loot and i need to get out of here um i never in my probably five or six hours of playing tarkov which is nothing in the grand scheme of things um it just never clicks for me i did it click for you yesterday i hope it did it was fun um it would, like, to the point where I would ever solo queue Tarkov, I'm a ways off. But, like, playing with... I would need to also play with, like, Ariel, someone that knows what they're doing. Yeah. Um, Because there is a lot. I I can see the appeal in it being so involved and realistic. Um, like a can of peas. Like, come on now. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I was enjoying that aspect just because I typically don't do like military sims or realistic simulators like that. Um, didn't do too bad. The hardest thing for me is managing loot. You got to do that quick. Secondly, um, sounds. It sounds like gunshots right next to me. They're like, oh, dude, that's like 120 meters away. Don't chill. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Dude. I think they just shot at me. They're like, no, you're fine. Um, And then... The other part being uh, that they're just some gamers. Um, like, there was one guy. For the most part, I, act I actually did pretty well. I think I only died with my PMC or whatever twice. Uh, but there was one run where Arios died. Uh, he was on, like, the right side of the shipment container. He's like, oh, contact. We were about to extract, of course. He's like, yeah. wait, wait, I see somebody. And I, I'm hearing it, and he's like, I need I need help. So I'm like, oh, I'm coming. So I go yeah. to the left side of the shipment <laughs> container. Lug, 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 yeah. lug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, like, kind of sit behind some, like, uh, barrels or whatever, and I'm, like, kind of see the lights of what would be a muzzle flash, but I can't find this dude. Yeah. And then suddenly he's shooting me, and I still don't see this dude. And I'm like, ah. Uh, and Eris is like, I'm dead. I'm like, uh. I'm, I'm boned. So he also ended up hitting me in the stomach. Which, if you don't stem bleeding in certain parts of your body quick enough, I'm over here like, <laughs> yeah, you guys are <laughs> has like COVID. And next something. thing I hear is ton 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 ton. He's coming. This dude is just running through the metal, and I'm like, this this is not. A, I'm Bumpo, and this is not a new player. Um, meanwhile, I'm <laughs> like trying to hide That's behind like my Fiora the experience. Yeah, and the worst part too is the audio. I keep hearing that. Well, first off, the, the coughing sounds like it wasn't even me. So I was like, is there two of them? And then the footsteps, it, one second it sounds like he's coming to the right of the container. The other time it's left. So I'm like trying to zero back I'm in. I'm so bad with audio in game, dude. I'm yeah. awful. It's like my worst thing in, in FPSs. I commit to the right side because uh, it was like a container and then like half a container. He's got to come around the corner. I'm committed. Yeah. Holding the angle. Holding that angle. And he comes... That way. That motherfucker. And before it registers to me that he turns the corner and I go to shoot, boop, he just, just shot me right. He fires you? Right, right between the eyes, I'm dead. I'm like, 
God. Well, uh, and so there's, oh, it's, there's just people like that where it's like, I'm, I'm another game. I'm I got, bad. I got like shot in the leg or like, everyone goes, Oh, your leg's broken. <laughs> yeah. And you go, who me? And he goes, no, Rob. And I go, Oh, like it is. <laughs> And then my character's like, no, it's a little ski, 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 so the whole, ah. And so I'm like, what the fuck? And I like, like. Well, that's why Eris is like, thank you're God bleeding. Cindy came home and I needed to cook dinner. Yeah. Eris is like, you're bleeding. You got, you got a bandage. I'm like, okay. But he's like, oh, no, it's a heavy bleed. You got to get uh, IFAC yeah. or something. I was like, I don't have that. Okay. Well, to first stop to fix your broken thing, you got to use a splint. Now you got to use a sephirim thing to this. There's like eight different meds. And then it's like stuffed cheese in your stomach. I'm like, I'm confused, but it's working. And then, and like, we did pretty well. So, how long did you guys game uh, after I had left? Like, two or three hours? Like, three or four. I'd periodically, like, check in. Um, Two player kills. Nice. Like, they were, like, actual players. Yeah. PMCs or scavs players? I killed lots of scavs. Um, like, whether or not they were player kills. Like, if they were real players or not. Um, But, yeah, two PMCs. Well, the funny thing is, the first one came. Within like two minutes, if you remember me sitting there like my gun's jammed. That was also yeah. my first experience. I spawn in as a scab. I have some bolt action rifle. Some dude's running in front of me. I, uh, it turns out it was a scab and I'm not supposed yep. to shoot it. But I try and shoot him. Miss. And then and then I can't see anything. There's a bolt just, just in the middle of my screen. I can't see anything. I'm like, what the fudge? And apparently my gun jammed, which is also apparently very rare. My first shot. Wait, really? Like gun jams. Yeah. And so I have chat over here like, oh, okay, okay. You got to click alt, but then click T, then alt T, then Y, then the, and I'm sitting here getting shot at. And I'm like, I can't even fire my gun. But I eventually unjam it after getting shot in the butt like three times. And funnily enough, yeah, I turn on the player, kill him. Didn't even realize what I'd really done either. I just looted him and. I was bleeding out. Did he have anything got me out of there. like good or? No, it wasn't anything crazy. The second but player just the I killed. satisfaction. The like second this. player I killed, tragic. Um, you didn't want to do it. Well, it was at the expense of Arios. He, oh no, he died for my cause. We were was in this, this PMC or were you guys scabs? Yeah, we were PMCs. Um, we're on some like shoreline or something. I don't remember. Uh, but we're in the middle of like a forest. Uh, part of the map and there's like some cabins and stuff over there. We're vibing, we're running and suddenly just pew, 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 pew. Um, I think I get tagged and I'm like, what the fudge? So Arios is like, I think I saw the shots. Like, I'll go get a flank. So I try, I like lay prone in the forest trying to heal my wounds and then while I'm sitting there, I just see a pew, <laughs> grenade like right oh, like next to grenade. my face. Yeah, I'm like, oh Jesus. And turns out the two people like rush me. They're right there on the hill and I'm just like <gasps> running away. What I didn't realize is Arios was running in on them. My boy was my boy was there for me, right? You're running away. He's charging in. So I'm running away, and then I hear shots fired uh, that aren't at me. And I turn around, and I'm like, "Oh wait, there's three of them." So I start shooting. <laughs> Turns out Arios was one of them. Arios beams the first dude, almost destroys the second, and they take him down. Um, and then I'm sitting there. I'm like couple uh like 20 30 kilometers away a, a good bit and i'm like i got my boy was there i gotta go try and avenge him so i run up and sure enough I, i'm like pooping my pants um and i i'm looking at the bottom of the ditch i think i see some dude i take a shot and i just hear Ugh! i'm like i think i killed him and i did turns out he had like 12 health left um Arios fragged. He was so close. Yeah. Um, Arios and then, fragged. And then that was the part, the loot, though. I'm just stuck there for like 10 minutes trying to play Tetris and like what's good, what's not. Meanwhile, I'm hearing shots and stuff, and I'm like, oh, Jesus. Ugh. And then the hard part, too, is the maps. It's like, okay, your extraction point is Southgate. The what? There's no maps in-game. Can't find no, it. No, there's look. like no like. There's no like way to tell. One twenty or one fifty. Yeah, there's not even like compass. A compass, or yeah. So you just got to know the maps. Yeah. And so Ariel's like spectates me and he's like, "What do you got? Oh, okay, so you're gonna run this way and then you're gonna run that way." And I'm like, "What the fudge?" Um, but it was fun. It's it's just 
I think this time it was more fun because I knew what I was getting into. Yeah. All the other times I got in. And this and is like, like a new well, wipe, right? Yeah. Or whatever that means. Like they take so, away all the guns and stuff from people yeah. and everyone starts from the same level, basically. Which the funny thing is, I guess they last like sometimes like five, six months. It hasn't even been, I think, a week since the last wipe. And there are some people in chat like, you're late. You're too late. Like, don't even bother. Like, it's been six days. What do you mean? Um yeah, it's fun. That, like that directory it, has some stands, though. Like it's crazy how many people genuinely enjoy watching Tarkov. There were a lot of people, and and that, like I would just escape, and they're like, "Nice raid, nice raid." I was like, "I didn't kill anyone." And they're like, "You survived. That's a that's a win." Good <laughs> raid. That was sweet. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, it was." I'm over here like. <laughs> well, the other thing too is yeah, the second match or whatever. Uh, we're in a little warehouse. I just hear. <laughs> Rob's like, I'm dead. I'm like, what? I'm in the yeah, middle of like a thing, like, like crouch that. walking. I see your dead body, and then that's the thing. Is like, I'm not gonna peek. I'm like, no, it's, it's like yeah, a giant like, train yard, and I'm like, and you're talking to the apiest of all apes. Like, it's like, <laughs> I'm not just gonna sit here, like, and you know, I don't have anything to lose. Like, maybe if like if I got to the point where it's like I had like a bunch of loot that I cared about and stuff like that, and like, oh, like I don't want to lose yeah. this. Or like I think Arios calls it like loot fear or whatever oh, yeah. he, like, um, unused loot is loot. Yeah, you don't just even like have just anyway. know any loot that you get and like you're gonna lose you're, it at some point. That's what everyone's saying is uh, there is no such thing as owned loot. You're borrowing everything because eventually, um, but like when that guy killed me around that corner though, like at that moment during that thing, like my adrenaline was pumping. Oh, I bet it was oh, like yeah. oh yeah. So like I could also see if I'd won that fight, oh that yeah. wouldn't pop. Yeah, like the, the, and then escape that, and that's the, the gaming kind of feeling that you chase every day when you turn on any kind of video game. Like to have so, that sort of kind of feeling. I definitely get the appeal, but you have to understand what you're getting into. And for me, I need to know because typically I like just faster paced things. So I think it would have to be in like spurts. But it was fun. Um, well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad it went uh, better than my experience. <laughs> yeah, but not, not my. Experience wasn't necessarily a bad experience. Um, well, it's just tough, I, too, because it's like, wait, well, I can't spectate? Like, what do I have to do? Yeah, like, that's kind of the weird thing. It's like, I'll just pull up your stream, I guess. Thank God Sydney came home and was like, are you still cooking dinner? I was like, oh, yeah. Like, I yeah. am dinner. I am on dinner tonight. <laughs> um, in other news, though, Pog, they're making a Gladiator 2 just announced. And I'm talking um, about a sequel to the 2000 Gladiator with Russell Crowe. Which is pretty cool. I I, I I have seen Gladiator once. Um, and this was probably like three years ago on an airplane. Um, okay, so this is... I think I may have told this on the podcast maybe uh, a long time ago. But it's a funny Gladiator story. Um, so, uh, let me see. What year did Gladiator come out? 2000? 2000. date okay so so gladiator came out on dvd november 21st 2000 okay my dad was super into technology so we had to buy a dvd player now a dvd player in like 2000 was like the whoa future. like you are like ahead of the game everyone is pretty much still using VHS. i'm still cranking vhs absolutely yeah, so my dad, I'll never forget it. We went to Circuit City and he bought a DVD player, like an unbelievably priced DVD. Like at those times, like DVD player, DVD player price in 2000. Oh my God. Well, and then you'd have to count for a little bit of inflation. Um, I'm trying to see how much, how much a DVD player... DVD. Player. I would think it's pro it was probably a couple it's maybe saying, mid. It's saying prices for the first pr in 1997 started at 600 and topped off at a thousand. By the 2000s, players were available for around a hundred dollars. And I, okay, so I would say ours was probably like 150, 200 dollars, which is insane for a DVD player like in like today's market. Um, because who uses DVDs anymore? Omega Lol. But for real though, like. No, I bet you only use it for your movie theater because it like has to kind of have DVD no, player. I mean Blu-ray. Well, Blu-ray is the same thing as a DVD. A bit, I mean, yeah, Blu-ray and now 4K Blu-ray. 
Okay, so anyway, we get a DVD player. Whoa, okay? And we get the the movie la- that just won Best Picture at the Academy Awards, I believe, uh, yep. which was Gladiator. Uh, so we huddle around the TV and get ready to start Gladiator, okay? Now, um, when you start a VHS, the mo- it just goes, right? Like, it, it'll have a couple of things, but it just starts when the thing starts, okay? What is what does a DVD have that a V like when you put in a DVD like what what starts the movie? Uh, remote. Well, you know how it has like, well, play, like a main menu. Scenes, yeah. yeah, it has like a main menu, right? We as a fit, we couldn't figure out how to get through the main menu. <laughs> <laughs> like what is we, this yeah, barrier? We, <laughs> We couldn't. We give couldn't. us access. I'll never forget as a kid, dude. It's literally Marcus or Marcus. It's uh, literally Russell Crowe, and he has like the thing. He's like, like, are you not entertained? And it says like, play scene selection, like setting. Just over it. And it was just thing. us. Like, how the fuck do we get this thing to go? And we gave up. And my dad returned <laughs> the DVD player the next week. I'll never, I'll never forget it. And we used, we used a VHS until I think. Like when we got an Xbox 360 or whatever that was, and that like came that with funny. a DVD in there. So yeah, we whenever I hear Gladiator, I immediately just think of the. I'm gonna look it up. DVD Gladiator DVD menu. Oh. Well, and the funny thing is, it was just like it'll kind of stop and fade out and then fade back in and restart and then over and over yeah that would no no this is okay because because it's like it says gladiator and then it shows like kind of scenes from the movies and stuff like that and we were just sitting there like the hell do like we do like it there's like nothing for us to like do because i i don't know if we didn't have the 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 like remote for it but we couldn't figure it out so we ended up not watching gladiator i could tell you what we ended up doing but we never ended up watching gladiator you gotta, so you gotta I, watch it now. It's a good movie. Well, I had I hadn't seen it like from then until like I, I was on a flight to I think GCX like in 2019 or something like that, and it had it on the in flight thing, and I was like, oh, for the memes, I'll finally finish it. Like, <laughs> and I really liked it. It's uh, it's like a fun. Movie. Have you ever seen Gladiator Blue? Uh, I my dad used to play the shit out of Gladiator. He would he was one of those movies where he would just have it on the background. So you guys knew how to work the culture. DVD players. Uh, <laughs> so you figured it out. Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't really know how to work it. It wasn't until I mean I knew how to work it, but it was my dad. My dad was like, even now, my dad will just have random movies just playing in the background. It's like uh, but Gladiator was the main rotation. It was his play. Gladiator was in good his uh, movie playlist. It's a good. It's a good movie though. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, well, I'm gonna watch it again here soon. I, and I really like movies that like. I mean, I can't think of another example other than like Avatar, but like the first one comes out and it's like comes out in like 2000. Now it's 20 years. And then it's like, oh, it's his son. But like it actually makes sense from the movie because it's been 20 years type of thing, not two years. And then like they go like, hey, it's been 20 years. This is his kid. (laughs) Pardon your regularly scheduled podcast listening for this short ad break. This episode of GG Over Easy is sponsored by BetterHelp. There is no better feeling than feeling you're at your best. For me personally, it's staying on top of my workouts, staying busy, and keeping the stream alive. But sometimes life can get you down and you can feel overwhelmed with tons of things. Now when I feel overwhelmed, I can remember my time at BetterHelp and what they taught me. Things like exercising, things like going out for a walk, things like also taking a break when I feel too overwhelmed. Things that sound pretty easy to figure out, but in all honesty, it was one of the hardest things to figure out. If you're thinking about giving therapy, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com GG to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com GG. Once again, thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this podcast. If saving more and spending less is on the top of your goals for 2023, why are you still paying an insane amount of money every month for your phone bill? Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile, you'll get their unlimited plan for 50% off. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans just starting at 15 bucks a month. But you gotta hurry, this deal ends January 15th. They showed me that I could be saving about $45 by switching to a Mint Mobile plan. 
So what are you waiting for? Do not wait till January 15th. Buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months for free by going to mintmobile.com slash gg. That's mintmobile.com slash gg. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash gg. Hurry. The offer ends January 15th. Again, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months for free by going to mintmobile.com slash gg. I don't think it was like they never really had plans. But they just recently announced Wrigley Scott's coming back for it. Um, so I'm hyped because, well, it's no secret. I love any period pieces. I was actually talking to my brother about this too. Like, um, I like all, literally almost any period piece except for the like Victorian era England. I don't know why, but like, those are like downtown Abbey or downtown oh, Abbey. Oh, so like the uh, crown like, the, and, like, like earlier crown. Yeah, I, or like Peaky Blinders. Would you no, say that? No, I like Peaky Blinders. Okay, but that's also a little bit later industrial. Yeah, and like a little that. bit different of what it's focused on. Um, yeah, it's not like, hoy, I need us tea. The yeah. tea is a little bit it's dry. Just, like, yeah, I don't know that one. Like literally, like Sherlock Holmes. Like that's kind of. I like Sherlock Holmes, but I like Sherlock Holmes not for the setting. Like, I didn't okay. watch Sherlock because of the setting, but other period pieces, I will literally give it a chance just because, like, it's in ancient Rome. So, I'm down because uh, it feels like we're getting less and less of those. Well, to be fair, movies as a whole, the movie industry is in a weird kind of spot right now because it's kind of like video games and the, most other entertainment at this point, unless it's safe and we know it's going to print money. Oh, um, I saw like a, it was like 2023's like biggest movies coming out and like all of them are reboots. There was like, I think maybe like four or five original IPs or something like that. It's probably reboots and superhero movies. And I'm part of the problem when it comes to superhero movies. Well, that's why I was like, you said superhero movies. I was like, oh man, I can't wait for Ant-Man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which. Um, but yeah, just like... I know, I just feel like we're getting less. Because, like, for instance, like, I don't know, like, Bullet Train. It's kind of an interesting concept, but I feel like we don't get as much, but I really like that. Um, the menu was a little more artsy, but I really like that. Um, yeah, we just don't... And then, well, I haven't seen it or really heard anything about it. I think it's kind of, I guess, kind of bad. But Babylon came out, and it bombed. Like, oh yeah, I remember that. What is like, not just bad? It was like with Margaret Robbie and uh, Brad Pitt, and it oh, came out over Christmas. That's like, is that the HBO Max movie? No, it went to theaters. No, it came out. Oh, that theaters. went to theaters. I thought that was like a movie that like HBO funded and it was Open, coming to. HBO. And here's the thing: opening weekend, three million. Spoilers. Jeez. That is. There's bad. That's probably and what it there's... costs to get like Brad Pitt. Yeah. Okay. Well, like. um, their budget was seventy eight million, and their box office bring home was eleven million. So uh, that's probably around a now. Now see, this 60, is the part where they're like, loss? "What streaming service will buy this?" Please. Um. It looked interesting though. Like I saw the trailer and I went, I went, oh, that looks fun. Well, see, like, you know, like a lot of people though, like that was the opposite. They're like, it looked weird and strange. Um, because I think there's a fine balance for me and most other people. I prefer trailers that give you almost nothing story wise. Like, I don't want to see a trailer and then know for the most part what I'm getting into. I want to know what it's about, but like, when. Lane. But like I'm watching the trailer and I'm like I think I just watched the whole movie. That's what. That's so many how I felt about the movie. Today. Do you see the plane uh, trailer? It's about this pilot, so. and it's it, it's honestly I saw it in theaters for before Avatar, and it was like the most ridiculous trailer I've ever seen. It's basically like Russell Crowe. I think no, who's the guy in like um, oh god, he's like protects the president in movies, and it's Gerard. Is it Gerard oh, Butler? Gerard Butler. Or yeah. Okay, so it's Gerard Butler. Um, he's like a pilot or something and he, and they're like, Hey, you got to take like this prisoner guy. He's a bad guy. And the prisoner guy's like, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> and the plane gets in like a crash and then they, they, they like crash and like 
Somalia or something where they're like in trouble and they got to protect everybody. So it's like this, all right, we got to take this bad guy off of the cuffs. So they take bad guy out of the cuffs and bad guy starts like helping Gerard Butler, who's a pilot, start like shooting people and getting their people out of Somalia or whatever I country think I they're know in. What talking about now, yeah. And at the end, the trailer goes, plane. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like you named that movie Plane? The plane was in it for like five seconds. You couldn't think of a better trailer than that? It's, it is one of the most ridiculous trailers I think I've ever seen. That and I think Ambulance or whatever, or Ambulance or oh, whatever yeah, that yeah. was. I never saw that. <laughs> that trailer was ridiculous. I, yeah, th- like there's a problem because like you can watch along too and you're like, I think I just watched all the major arcs of yeah, the entire exactly. story. Um, but I think there's a fine balance between like, like uh, the perfect trailer that shows enough but not too much enough that it interests viewers who might not know especially because like you can get away with it if it's something else like um you know like a, like a superhero movie these days you can pretty much mm-hmm. like do anything it's like oh yeah I, I you could if thor 5 or whatever came out you could make it really vague but people are like i know thor oh yeah but if it's a new ip kind of like babylon you have to give enough to interest people but not too much as to give it away but from my understanding, for a lot of people, they just felt like I have no idea what this movie is, and not in like a "ooh, I want to find out" kind of way. Um, so that certainly. Uh, well, so help. here are the the big movies coming out uh, this year. Um, Megan, you, you anybody going to see that? That's a. They're saying that's a big one. I mean, it's on this list. Like, it's definitely it, getting a lot of marketing, like a big marketing push. It has that um, that scary director guy who always makes good scary movies that Sydney hears and goes like, "Oh my god, it's gonna be scary! Like we gotta see it." Um, I forget who it is. Let me see. Well, he, he's he's made other stuff. I think um, I recently saw some reviews and they were very lukewarm. You're lukewarm. You mean that? Um. Okay, so we have is Megan and then Ant Man, Quantum Mania. I think everybody's gonna see that. Ant Man's so fucked. Uh, Cocaine Bear coming out February twenty fourth. That looks kind of fun. Oh, uh, I lied. Fun. What? Apparently, I I saw a couple that were just against the grain because uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, critic score ninety four percent. Oh, Megan? Yeah. Audience score seventy eight. What? That's pretty good. I would have figured, good, if anything, though, it would have been oh, like thirties. Yeah, like well, but like to think, uh, like scary movie like this, it kind of seems for the critics yeah. to like be all about it. That is, um, I, uh, hey, I, it's getting. I'll eat my words. Yeah, yeah, if it's, yeah, if it's good. Um, after Co- Cocaine Bear, we have Creed Three, uh, which is I'm a reboot. Uh, then Scream Four reboot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shazam. Uh, which is I a mean, sequel. Sequel, yeah. Uh, John Wick Chapter Four. Which, pause. yes. Yeah, wait. Let's pause before that because that's pog. Yeah. Shazam. The weird thing too is like they're like blowing up the DC universe right now. Uh, James like Gunn Shazam. is because he, um, because he. I don't know if we talked about that. James Gunn is now like the Kevin Feige of DC. He's come over and now he's making the DC Cinematic Universe, which is also why you know, screw me. Now Henry Cavill's like. Then why I'm back show him Superman, in Black Adam? And James like Lamau, no. Well, then why show him in Black Adam? It like goes deep, why? Rob. It's because it goes deep. it's it's because Black Adam was produced before the whole DC universe reset that they did that they're starting with James Gunn. And not only that, he was told no for a while about even getting Henry Cavill back, and apparently went behind like some people's backs or somebody like there was a change of positions, and then p- pitched it to new su- people late. And they okayed it, but for the most part, apparently, like Warner Brothers is very unhappy with Rock and how he handled the whole thing and was trying to run the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, that's why he unfollowed very dramatic. them. Very dramatic. It's Rock seems kind of petty. Of like teams. I'll say this: I like the Rock, and I think he's a cool dude. He seems kind of like a petty little bitch, though. Sometimes. Well, I think he's just used to getting his way. Um. And so I would never say that to you, Dwayne, in in front of your face. <laughs> yeah, but uh, love you. Um, relax. So yeah, blew up and and then like Henry's being told, oh, I'm back as Superman. Sweet. Gets called like two days later. Hey, everybody, I'm back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, about that. But now I got him in my Warhammer 40k cinematic universe. So I accept it. But um 
Yeah, that's why, like, watching the Shazam, they're quiet on what's going to happen to Shazam. Because I feel like they're also just going to nix that, but it hasn't come out yet. So they don't want to, like, be like, hey, this is completely inconsequential and none of this will matter after this movie. But I feel like that's what's going to happen. Um, so who knows? Um, but John okay, Wick so, 4. <gasps> yeah, John Wick 4, March 24th. So sooner than we actually, uh, actually think. Cash me uh, there. And then Dungeons and Dragons. I uh, will give it a chance, but I'm still like why it looks. Uh, I don't know. I feel like that. I don't. I have no idea though. You know what I mean? Like it could be one of the coolest. I don't know though. Well, like, I feel like they're, and I think it's probably best that they're doing. They're leaning more into like the comedy side, um, because mm -hmm. otherwise it could be the like RP some kind of section. Yeah, and I think that's what. And I think they got Chris Pine as mainly like the uh, we got Chris Pine for like the normies or, or like I feel like girls, Chris like, Pine is like dragons? the middleman. Like you're like I need to sell tickets, but I can't spend this much on a main face box office kind of guy. It's like we can get Chris Pine. It's like all right, like yeah, sure. sure. He had to have gotten paid pretty well. I think just some well, yeah, people were probably like I just don't like, think he's don't like a Chris Evans. That. You know what I mean? Kind kind of yeah. Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt. You know. I would put it like Chris Pine in like the A tier, not S. <laughs> Chris Pine's listening to the podcast. Like, um, and then a movie called Evil Dead Rise. Don't know anything about that. People are pretty hyped for that Evil Dead movie. I still haven't seen any of those. That's that game we played with Bryce very shortly. Uh, it was like Evil Dead the game. And it was like the kind of like Dead by Daylight thing. Um, Evil Dead. Yeah. I bet well, if I Evil saw like Dead, the cover. Would... Well, Evil Dead is before the game. It was yeah. a massive, you know, big movie franchise. A lot of like, yeah, like cult classic movies. Very oh, big, oh, things. like Evil Dead. Oh, who's the director of these? And he's like, Sam Raimi made these. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, I guess. Again, like uh, I played the game and everyone's like, this is so sick. Oh, it has this and that. I'm like, I haven't seen the movies. So uh, that's. And then Probably Super cool. Mario Bros. in April. Very excited about that. I it's will be there. It's going to make a stupid amount of money. I'm, I'm telling you. The biggest movie of, of the year, you think? In terms of like money made? Um, I think so. I, at the very least, I would, I'd comfortably say like top three. I have to look at all of them coming out. Cause like, Are you saying are, this is going to be a top ten of all time grossing? Of, of all time? I wouldn't be surprised if so, if it does kind of blow up. I don't know. I'm thinking it's going to do numbers. It looks awesome. Like I think that movie looks really funny. Like I, I it's kind of the movie I think I've always been waiting for. I think it's good. Uh, and then we got Guardians of the Galaxy, May 5th, uh, Volume Three, which I think uh, sounds like that's going to be the last one. It does. I mean, Dave Bautista is kind of making it sound like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's done with Drax. Yeah. Um, I was um, kind of spoiled about apparently what happens in the comic book. So some other things happen. In them. Who spoiled never, that for you? Never happy about that. I think it was Reddit or something. Uh, Randomly, like the top comment, I'm like, bruh. <laughs> um, and then we have God. This series won't die. Fast Ten. It's not gonna die because guess what? That sh stupid movie. It is does so print money. <laughs> fun. It is so money, money. dumb and so fun. I didn't and see the last one. It just has its. It just has its heartbeat on the culture of normie. Didn't didn't like The Rock have like a helicopter in one yeah. hand and like a car in the other? Yeah. Like, even Captain America like. And then they with that. well they took a little Civic or whatever into space. Uh, they made it what? into yeah they made it into a little rocket ship. It's I think it was ludicrous in space in a car <laughs> that's yeah. It's, I gotta like, see Fast just, Nine. Yeah, the thing is they exactly what Blue said like they know what they are and what they're doing. It is just well, like think, an over the top blockbuster. I think I saw one scene and it was like he was like on a car moving like 150 miles an hour and it like flips and he like jumps like <laughs> mid flip onto like another car. That's um, great. And uh, then we got the live action Little Mermaid, which I'm pretty I interested mean, to see because I'm gonna be honest, I'm not like massively into the new disney live action neither am i that's i, I can't, I can't tell you one that i was you didn't see lion king 
I yeah, I saw it and I saw Jungle Book and I in theaters and I think that's the only live action Disney movie I saw in theaters. Now I I've am interested because Halle Bailey is insanely talented, but I'm also just not like I don't know the Disney live actions haven't like landed with me yet. So I also don't love the Little Mermaid. So. Like it's not... I did love the Little Mermaid as a kid, so this it, one it was... this is probably what I'm most invested in to see. Hope it's hope it's good. It was like my sister's favorite movie, and I was like, e-. like my sister <laughs> likes that movie. Like Ooh, I fucking thinking. love the yeah. bro. I love the Little Mermaid. That shit uh, slapped. Uh, another movie that's gonna do Pocahontas. numbers. Pocahontas. Uh, Spider Man Go- Across the Spider Verse. Uh, that's the one. That's probably the movie I'm most excited for. I'm hyped. I will. Um. Well, that's actually, I was going to mention that too in trailers. They released one. Um, and it was like 80% Spider Man, the first f- movie footage, and they can get away with it because everyone knows what they're getting into now. Um, showed some pieces. I hope that's mostly what they show because I also like that. Like, ooh, keep it kind of vague. We know we're going to see a bunch of different Spider Mans. Like- yeah. Um, but I actually went to see Puss in Boots. Oh, I can't. I don't know what the rest of the I forget title what it's called. Like nine lives or something like something that, because like he's or like running out of wish, lives. Or, yeah. Uh, last wish, maybe. I don't know. Final wish. Last uh, wish. Yeah. Okay. Put, put some boots to the last wish. Um, Claire and I went to see that this week. Um, first off, there are a lot of action sequences that felt very heavily inspired from Spider Man. Um, and they worked, but it was just like, I was also telling Claire, like, I'm interested to see how many more people might adopt. Yeah, like sort of that. Like the, they mainly used it during homework. action con- or sequences, and it worked well. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, Claire loved it's, it. It's I really banging it. on on Rotten Tomatoes right now. I just looked at it's it. 90 like, it's like ninety five percent. It was really good. I really liked it. Yeah. Um, started out like a little cats. slow. It starts out with like a musical, and I'm like, wait, what am I getting myself into? Um, but then that's not the case, and then it, it gets great. Um, How are a lot of cats in it, or just is he kind of the only cat? I don't want to spoil anything. Okay. Well, also, uh, I didn't realize too. Apparently, there was like this is a sequel to another Puss in Boots. I've never seen that, uh, and I still enjoyed the movie. So, because like apparently is it there was still stuff Antonio in there. Banderas. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Apparently, there was stuff that like it like connected you, from a previous yeah. movie. But and you're like, oh. They did a good enough job that I didn't realize. They finally explained I, it. I still understood it all. Um, I will say, I, I don't know what they were trying to do, but it certainly seems like we're getting Trek 4. I'll say that. So. Mike Myers some, and Eddie Murphy? A little. Some body touch. I mean, that'll do again. numbers. If it's good. Um, if it's June 9th, Transformers. The new one. Uh, which I think looks really good. I do like dope. Beast Wars. Yeah. Um, okay, this good? one... Mm. Is uh I don't know if this one actually comes out. Uh The Flash, June sixteenth. With Ezra Miller. I at this point I I don't even know if I'm gonna see it. I'm not. Why the fuck would I go see that? That dude is weird. That dude is a weird guy. A Have you seen like some of the body footage they got from him? Like when he's like at a restaurant, he's like, I sell NFTs online. Like that's what I is it, it was weird. He's a weird guy. A couple years ago. Or even like two years ago, I think I would have been like, yeah, but first off, knowing now it's completely inconsequential, not a part of the universe, um, and also knowing about all the drama outside of it and how much of a nightmare it's been for everyone involved in that project. <sighs> yeah. 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 I don't know. Um, and then the new Disney Pixar movie, um, Elemental, which... Uh... You haven't mm-hmm. seen the trailer for that? It's like, uh, like, hi, I'm Aqua. And he's like, or no, he's like, I'm Aqua. And she's like, I'm Flame. And it's like Thanks. water and fire love each other or something. But the, the world looks really interesting. You haven't seen the trailer for it? It's like a fire person like walks into a train um, and there's like clouds. And I'm looking at it right like, now. Yeah, I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, it looks really interesting. It's a mm-hmm. cool trailer. Um, and then Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny. Harrison Ford's like, you're going to pay me how much? Fine. Yeah, I'll he's like, back. I actually kind of like Indiana Jones, so sure. Mm. I was watching him in 1923. Sydney told me he's like 80-something. I think he's in the early 70s. She know. said like he's 80. Old. He's old. 
I think he's like 80. He is. He's 80. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And he was like getting off a horse and shit. It's like, damn, Harrison. Go on. Yeah, I Uh, God. Can you imagine? Yeah, I I I feel like I feel like I, I can't even be bothered to get off the couch. Good for him. Like, uh, what? So I, I, I literally thought that. I was like, he must be doing this for like his great, great, great grandkids. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he's just the like. Great, great grandpappa, please do it for us. Yeah, like, wh- like, what are you doing on that horse, Harrison? Um, you, you should actually watch it, dude. 1923. It hit this kind of climax, and I think you'd really like Currently, it. Currently, I'm watching um, Jack Ryan season three with Claire. Is that with uh, Jason Jim from The Krasinski. Office? Jason, it's John Krasinski. John but Krasinski. Yes. <laughs> oh, I just, said a, I just said not... a, uh, a Pokemon Jason uh, world Krasinski? champion, TCG world champion. Yeah. <laughs> really? He was like, yeah, I'm trying to, he's like 2007 to 2008 world champion. I don't know why that name just came out, but yeah. Um. So and then we have the Mission Impossible movie, which I'm super stoked for. The last Mission Impossible have been sick. I've now seen them all. And by I haven't seen I mean, them all. Like I haven't, I haven't seen, seen them. any until I marathon them recently. So I'd be excited to see how it ends. Um, and then Barbie, which looks like Grease, kind of, almost kind of how I think that movie. I'm a Ryan Reynolds be. simp, or not Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling simp. So yeah, sure. I mean both. True. You know. yeah. Who's hotter, Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Gosling, easy. I agree. Not even close. Like Ryan Reynolds is a good-looking dude. But like Ryan Gosling is like, it's like beautiful, absolute, just like, I feel like Ryan, like Ryan Reynolds is somebody who like, I'd want to marry, you know, but, but like, like Ryan, Ryan Gosling is like the man of your dream. Yeah. The dude who I like run off with, you know what I mean? Exact. Yes. That you get it, bro. Yeah. I just want to go just drink protein shakes with Ryan Gosling. Like, um, what's the movie where he's like a professional driver? Drive and I was like, "Drive me away, Ryan yeah, Gosling." That movie, drive me away, bro. Badass. That movie, take made me, me wet. away. You uh, drive, and I've I'll give you a handy. And then we have Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer comes out the, comes out the same day as Barbie. I am a Christopher Nolan simp as well. So, is this this is about like the nuclear bomb, right? It's a. It's like a. His idea. I'm pretty sure it's what? more of like a. I think it's more of a, like an actual historical, like fic- oh, speaking of, fiction, but I watched the movie. I didn't watch it. I looked up like a thing about Tenant that like breaks down the movie because I was you like, I'm not gonna watch Tenet? this. No, I just watched the movie that broke down like what it's about and stuff. I liked it. Um, I, I probably wouldn't have liked it. Like watching Claire didn't. She doesn't like, like Chris. Ronaldo's. It seemed Those way too movies. confusing, bro. Like to the point where it's like I don't even know like what I signed up for anymore. See, I like that. Um, uh, the Marvels, which I don't know, take or take or leave it for me. Is that a mar- like a Marvel? The Marvels, yeah. It's like uh, I think it's gonna be like Brie Larson. Um, what's you like the the Disney Plus show Blue? What was it called? Miss um, uh, Marvel, which was really good. Oh yeah, it's like she'll be in it as well. Oh right. Um, oh, I see. Who's they have been show? setting up the. Uh, the marvels for a while in the tv shows so is this like a comic book version in marvels of like justice league or something that's not it's Avengers? less it, it's honestly less that it's more so because the original captain marvel is so unpopular that, that they kind of like were like let's shift it to like the the marvel the subset marvel death squad yeah, of you know it seems like it's a bunch just, of different people bunch of different super powered marvel ladies seems like it's just marvel miss marvel well it it's says, the marvels yeah it says featuring the characters um carol danvers Askins. like captain marvel kamal khan miss marvel and monica ram rambo rambo isn't that that's Maria? Oh no, that's, Monica, you're Monica. That's from uh, Maria's she's the first, first movie. She's from. Isn't that the one from Doctor oh. Strange? Yeah. So, Her so friend? Monica was from. Uh, Monica was from. Uh, if you guys remember, Wandavision. 
Remember, oh yes, that's right. That's right. She gets like pushed into the thing, she and that's what gets her powered by that's going right. through the hex. I forget what her name is. And then obviously Miss Marvel is. She had her own show, and then you got Carol Danvers. And uh, I'm I'm kind of excited because I do want to see the dynamic between the Ms. Marvels. Marvel, uh, well, Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau, because uh, there's a little, there's a little bit of drama there because. Uh, you guys remember in WandaVision, Monica Rambeau was like, they met, they mentioned Captain Marvel and Monica's like, ooh. Captain oh, yeah, Marvel. she got kind of pissed. Uh, yeah, I don't know pissed. about Captain Marvel, y'all. I didn't know. Uh, so, cool. I didn't know about this movie. I'm actually really excited because this was, as as a kid, this was my favorite, um, like, toys or franchise. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. It's going to be a new is, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Is this in... Related to the past live action ones at all, or no? I don't think it's live action. I just looked it up and it, it said animated, so oh, okay. I'm assuming it's going to be animated. Um, I wish it was live action, dude. Those live action movies actually really kick ass. I was going to say I kind of like them. I did too. Like again, they weren't going to win any awards. They are a little nightmare awards. fuel. Yeah, they weren't going to win any awards, but I, I had fun with them. Um, and then they put a movie here that I, I don't know. It doesn't have a title. It looks like a, a little scarab beetle that it looks kind of futuristic that has like blue and purple on it. I, I don't know. I've never. Which I, reminds I, me. I'm pissed. The one show I bother to watch. First off, because I, I haven't watched much TV at all. As well as close to release. That I really like canceled just not even like what? a month after 1899 oh and everyone's like that got canceled yeah it was in top three of like 40 countries for we like it was only losing to wednesday which like is more probably yeah, like which stranger was like things weird. now or something yeah i don't know um Everybody loves it. It's like she's quirky and I cute. I I don't I don't get it. But it was only between like, before like those two or something. Which not to mention though, it's also from the directors of Dark, which went on to do three seasons. People loved, did really well for Netflix. They had a clear vision. I think three seasons for this as well. And they're like, nope. So I'm now at the point too. Like, why am I ever going to bother watching a new show? Because fans odds are, of, it's just going to get canceled. Fans of the new Netflix series 1899 got a shock announcement on Monday when the show's co uh, co creators, Baron, Bo Odar, and Jen GT Freezy, I'm saying that so wrong, showrunners on Netflix, Mystery Hit Dark, announced that their new series had been canceled after just one season. Sorry, Mr. Fruit. I put the. Oh, I, I put the, uh, the movie list in the DMs on Twitter if you want to try and decipher what hey. august 18th is the movie hey fruit hey fruit yeah what's up uh, i get it man everything <laughs> we love just gets canceled or deleted i get it that's why that's why i that's why i have trust issues but it's why, it's why oh i'm slow I to, to i love. get it I this movie hey. say we've been there. okay so this movie's called the blue beetle i don't know well, what that is it's a comic book i guess Oh wait, I see my mo I don't know. I think it's between John Wick mm -hmm. and we haven't we're about to get to it. Uh then October sixth is Craven the Hunter. I don't know. And then is. Dune Part Two. There it is. Yeah, okay. Dune your mom. Yeah, I ah. need that Dune Part Two. And Dune I'm telling your mom. And I'm gonna tell you this. I hope it's just as slow as the first. I don't. Care. I enjoyed the slow burn. I did too. Ew. I loved it. Ew. Oh, I did. I loved that slow burn. Oh, it was great. Like, I, I, I know a lot of people that were bored of it, and it was like, oh, it just seemed like, like by the end of the movie, nothing got done. And I me. was like, yeah. <laughs> At me we got, uh, I just feel like nothing got done, Rob. That's yeah. that's why it was. So I, I just, I, I just loved the world building of it. Like that's what I loved. Like ah, uh, the ooh, yeah, oh, ooh, oh, so cool. Um, I also see on this list they're also another Aquaman. They couldn't wait until all this is done to then. Oh, like, why are we doing another Aquaman? Aquaman, like, the Lost Kingdom. 
I mean, I think obviously, right? Like the movies have been in production and they've spent so much yeah. money. They're not just Amber Heard is like... still in this movie. Well, her screen time got cut. So, but see, but like, that's what I'm saying. I understand they still got to release them. So why wouldn't James Gunn and all them, they can do this, but why wouldn't they wait? Like retcon it or something? To like... announce until like after Aquaman comes out and all of the product, the things that have been in production are done. And then they're like, hey, moving forward. I mean, I don't really think it was up to, I don't really think they wanted to. I think it was more their hand got forced by the rock and, and, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and uh, PC builder buff man. Uh, Although, well, name? hey, that wasn't Henry's fault. He got baited. Henry Cavill, yeah. The Warner Brothers, or whatever, is like, hey, we're bringing back your suit, man. He's like, sweet. Let's Love it. Later. I'm going to tweet it. Ah. Already tweeted it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, is this cool? Yeah, dude, that's fine. A week yeah, later. Already tweeted it. Let's hey, please tell me you didn't tweet that. <laughs> yeah, you didn't actually send that, right? Uh, believe it or not, I'm actually really excited for the new Wonka movie. I'm a Timothy Blanchet stan. Um, I kind of feel the same way about Timothy Blanchet as the way Blue feels about Ryan Gosling. Is there, I stand. Has Timothy there been a trailer or something? No. Yeah, Timothy Blanchet is like playing the new Wonka. Oh. I'm gonna. I gotta Google this. I don't it, know it's more so Blanchet like a is. young uh, interpretation of Willy Wonka. Timothy and the, I think there's only been like one release the picture guy from, from it. Yeah. Blanche? Uh, Did you say Blanche? You mean Tim Timothy Chalamet? Timothy Blanche. Yeah, Timothy Blanche. Isn't that how you say it? Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet, the god. Blanche? Bro, no. Timothy not... Blanche. I... <laughs> how have you, have you been saying Blanche this whole time? I have been, yes. Why? It's not even close. Mandela effect, dude. I don't know who Timothy Blanche. That's not a that. Mandela effect. That's you being dumb. <laughs> no one said. No one calls him Blanche. Hey, uh, Mr. Fruit had a Mandela effect with Shaco the other day. So no, this is not okay. the same. Blanche is not box, even box, close. Box. I swear, other people were like, "What?" You, I was like, "Who the fuck is Timothy Blanche? Is that a new guy?" <laughs> yeah, it's no. Timothy Chalamet, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, my bad. I'm sorry, Timothy. I love you though. Oh my I love god! Him. What the? F I Rob! just get lost in his eyes. All right, maybe I don't really listen Rob when they say his name. I'm Blanche? like, Blanche. I go like this. They, no he, man. They show him on TV. I'm like, <laughs> Blanche. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Rob. Would I you like smash? the way he kisses his teacher. Would you smash? Uh, him? No. Disappointing. I would, I would like have a Joey kiss with him though. You know what I mean? Like whatever. Um. That's it. <sighs> Is this I Ghostbusters mean, though? Not even like December a passionate. 20th? No, 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 no. I have to get to, down to the source <laughs> of of Rob's affection for Timothy Chalamet. So well, what are we talking? No, no. Talking you got to ask him. Is he going to kiss Timothy Blanche? Yeah, I'll kiss Timothy uh, Blanche. He'll but, kiss uh, not him. Not Chalamet. Fine. <laughs> That's fine. Just next. Just let's just move on. I Blanche, man. But uh, yes, Mister Fruit. This Ghostbusters movie has like all the OGs in it. I think. Well, well is it? No, I've they totally took away the the woman one. I think the the one oh, no, with no, no, like no. the SNL chicks. But is this the one? The trailer I've been seeing forever. It has the Stranger Things kid, and they're like in a warehouse, like they're in like the desert or something, and then they go to some wooden. Did that already come out? Because I've never uh, seen that one, trailer like Ghostbusters a year, ago, a year and a half ago or something. Twenty twenty three. Oh, no, I think you're thinking of the Stranger Kid things because they wear Ghostbusters in Stranger Things, and I think you're no. thinking. I can tell because Paul Rudd's in it. Uh, that movie it, already came out, my guy. That's what I was at. I was gonna say, is that the one? Yeah, the Paul Rudd it. Ghostbusters. Yeah, that came out a long okay. time ago, my guy. It is. It did pretty. It did pretty good. Well, that's why I was like, is that the one? Uh, it came out. Yeah, it was Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh, yeah. November nineteenth, twenty twenty one. Okay. Yeah, you're you're a little late to this party. I, well, man, I never knew it came out, and I was like, there's no shot. It's that thing because I saw that trailer forever, and I did. I saw that trailer forever. Huh. I forgot that movie even came out. Uh, yeah, but then I'm, I'm not a big Ghostbusters guy anyways. It, it used to it scare me. It made $204 million. Like, you get, what are you guys oh, doing? That's pretty good. Made... That's Go positive. <laughs> good for the <laughs> producers. That's in the green. It's in the money. Um, I'm excited for a good portion of those. Um, be, be interested to see, too, uh, what like not huge blockbuster movies are coming out. Um, because like like for instance, if we were doing this last year, um, everything everywhere all or everything everywhere all at once, all at once, yeah, wouldn't have been on this list. Wasn't even on no. my radar. But that hit, and that's like top five movie all time for me. 
Was that so. movie of the year last year for you guys? Oh, easily. Yeah. I saw Joey like did like I what think. was your favorite movie of 2023 and your least favorite movie? Here's My favorite problem. was definitely everything. Or 2022. Wants. Joey tweeted out that. Avatar 2 was a banger, so immediately disregard everything he has to say about movies. I mean, <laughs> I like I mean, that, we could kind of talk about it. Like it was a, it did bang though. Like mm-hmm. I wouldn't mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it banged because it the was visuals like a good banged, story, sure. But yeah, like visually. But like I got the price like I paid for a ticket and I got the value of my ticket because that movie was visually yeah, and I, I just could have wrote it. Story yeah, did bang though. visually. Like I could have just, I could have written that story, and that's like what I judge it off. Of, like oh, most hey, writing. Hey, what? you know what? Sometimes not every movie has to have a, a complex story to be good, and I don't think Avatar was like high art. No, it, but like, goddamn, like, did that movie give me like a? Yes, I, it did. That movie, fuck gave, my that eyes. movie gave me a. <laughs> it gave it did. Yeah, it fucked my ass. That movie fucked eyes. my ass. <laughs> Just, just my eyes. be clear. Though, visually, I visually, my eyes. Um, I forgot to say. No, I, um, I said ass. A couple of weeks ago, Claire and I saw Spirited on Apple TV. If you know, it's the Will Ferrell Ryan Reynolds Christmas thing. Did you hate it? It was so bad. <laughs> it was. Spirited. Wait, and not only like that, that, it was not only that. It's a musical. Ooh, um, it was never going to win you though. Let's be honest. Yeah, but we also didn't realize. But like, it was. I, Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds got paid. Hey, good for them. What is this? Yeah, there are lots of ads for it. It came out like, I think right before Christmas or something. Dude, yeah. I gotta give this you credit, dude. You watch shit. Like, I will look at that and go, I'm not watching that. Like, <laughs> like at least every, you give, give it a shit, a chance. a chance. And then I'm like, that one, that one. But sometimes I give some things some fair chances, and I'm like, hey, I'm better yeah. for it. Maybe you shouldn't have. See, I'll look at that and go, yeah, I'll just watch breaking I'll just watch a random breaking bad episode, I guess. Like I'm not trying to Well, do I was that. so interested. I haven't seen Will Ferrell much recently. <gasps> so I was like, oh let's see what, yeah. Okay, so to, to to kind of close the podcast, give me your movie of the year in twenty twenty two and then the worst movie of twenty twenty two. My favorite was definitely everything everywhere all at once. My least favorite I don't know if I had like a. I I don't usually go see movies I like. I'm not interested in seeing, so I can't say I had a least favorite. But fruit uh, fruit has something different. His one, I, I think I know his. You probably know mine too. Well, that's why I was like, I was looking. I was like, yeah, I can't really remember many. I hate. And then you see it, you go, oh, I didn't even see it, but it hit me again. Uh, favorite, I would have to look, but I'm like 99 percent sure. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, least favorite, Jurassic Park. Kingdom for whatever. The fuck. That's what I put. I put Glass Onion, my favorite. I Jurassic Dominion was Jurassic the Park worst. Jurassic came out this oh year. Oh my god! And you know it made millions. It did. Dude, yeah, that was god. like I have to, that was the movie that made me like that was my Chris Pratt like like exhaustion points. Yeah. Like that was where I was like I'm over. I, like I'm desensitized to Chris Pratt. I don't want to see this dude in a movie ever again. Uh, well, like there's sometimes it was like, okay, I'll watch this because I like Chris Pratt. But at that point, it was like he he can't carry this movie, and this movie's making me hate him. Actually, Ex- yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, so, this is making uh, me hate him. And I, and I mean, he was already I, on thin ice. He was already in thin ice for me. But I was like, I do, I do still think Chris Pratt is a great leading man. And then, and this movie was like, you know what? I don't want Chris Pratt in movies anymore. Guys. And apparently that might be one of my hottest takes because uh, there are some people who are like, dude, that was so sick. And normally I can I can like see it from the, like, okay, I see where you're coming from. I don't. I'm glad you liked it. But like, man, I have a tough time seeing what they're, like they're, that one. I'm telling you, like I haven't had, I, I remembered it just because it was the only time in recent memory that I was like, I had a just bad time going to movie theaters. I wanted to leave the theater. It never happens. Yeah, it was a bad movie. Like yeah, it, was, it was real. Awful. It, it was one of those like this didn't need to be made kind of thing. Well, it was it was one of those movies that you're like, all right, finally, like the conclusion. Wait, it's there's another thing wrong. Okay, I guess we're still in this ride. <laughs> like it's like it's like a roller coaster, and you go through it once. And you're like, whew, that was a good time, and then they're like. All right, again? You're like, 
Uh, okay, yeah, sure, I'll go on it twice. Like, uh, all right, yeah, okay. sure. Sure, and then, well. like, by the time you're, like, the sixth time, you're like, dude, just get me off of this fucking thing. <laughs> like, I th- it's got to be done, right? And they're like, no, you got two more rides. And it's like, fuck. Right, like, uh, all right. <laughs> um, oh, and then, okay, here's an actual movie that's not on there that I really liked the first one. Um, Extraction 2. What was the what was the first extraction? Uh, it's uh with uh, uh I'm blanking on his. I'm gonna just be a dickhead here and say Thor, but it's the guy who plays Thor, and it was the Netflix movie where he like um, goes and like. Um. It was an alright movie. I guess Expendables Four is coming. That extraction movie felt like that felt like quintessential. We got a movie star for an action movie streaming movie. Yeah, <laughs> it like it didn't do anything crazy. It wasn't no. terrible. Yep, I watched it and I was like, okay, sure. Yeah, it was very predictable, but that's you know, like Blue was saying. You know, hey, sometimes that's alright. The movie knew what it was, and um, yeah, obviously, it probably did enough numbers for them that they're like, we go again. Um, okay, well, in order to make uh, sure that this podcast gets turned in on time. Uh, we need to cut it now so we can render this and get it out to our management studio. Uh, so we will not be able to do questions today because we drew, drew it on a little too long. Uh, sorry, talking about League and all the we movies. We did go pretty and, hard on the, on the topics today, but hey, it's a good podcast. Uh, thoughts are with uh, the Buffalo Bills player, Damar Hamlin. Um If you guys watched that, that was scary. Yeah. The one, The one football game I wasn't watching... Um, well, that's why, like, they, I'm I was, thankful I didn't see it, though. You know, I was what I mean? like five or ten minutes behind because that was after we went to see Puss in Boots. So I was like yeah. catching up, and then I'm like, "What is that?" And then like, there's nothing. I'm like, "How is no one talking about this?" And I guess because ended up yeah, not watching I, it. But I, the I'm glad I wasn't watching it because I'm sure my reaction would have been totally different from seeing it live to seeing like just kind of videos, kind of of it. But yeah, it was rough. Uh, so thoughts are you with? Um, no, he's a big listener of the podcast. <laughs> he does. He does love GG over easy. Uh, so thank you guys all for listening to GG over easy. Um, we'll be back next week for some more topics and more fun discussions. Uh, we will try and get this turned in right now so you guys can hear it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>